Here's how to adjust the spring tension on a Suntour XCT SR fork. This is a pretty basic entry-level mountain bike uh, suspension fork. Notice I don't say shock absorber because it actually doesn't have any shock absorbing built into it. This is real basic entry-level stuff. So you can see it's pretty boingy. And what you do is on the, on the caps of each fork leg, there's a preload adjuster. You turn it clockwise to crank up the preload and it goes a half turn at a time. So you'll turn it half a turn until it clicks and then go to the other side turn it half a turn until it clicks and you want to every time you do one you want to do the other one you don't want to have a thousand pounds of pressure on this spring and no pressure on this spring or it'll be wonky so just do one at a time so there crank it that way and then crank this one this way crank this one this way and then to lighten it up again you turn it counterclockwise so we give it a few cranks and then it's got more tension and you just put it put it the way you want it test drive it and uh, be happy with it. One more word of advice about this shock. We're gonna do some downhill mountain biking with it and do some, some extreme stuff, but it really isn't built for that. It's more built for uh, little old ladies to ride to church once a week. In fact, there's even a warning sticker down here. Warning, only use for leisure cross country. Do not use for free ride, downhill dirt jumping, or any hard riding. So there you go. Sometimes when you buy the cheap bike, you get something that looks like a performance product, but it really isn't. Oil is starting to come out of it here too, since my son's been uh, breaking the rules and using it for jumping. <laughs> Watch out! How's that, Charlie? We have the warranty, so. We have the warranty. 